this journey. My son was born after 15 years of our marriage. He was 3.5 kgs when he was born and extremely healthy child uh, considering after 15 years he was born uh, we were all very excited about it so he was a very healthy child. He is not even complained of anything other than whenever he had vaccinations I think only once he had fever. So until three years uh, it all went very well and uh, finally um, we, we sent him to school uh, for his nursery. So that's when he started losing weight. It was a common behavior in all the kids because uh, as soon as they start going to school, they are very active and suddenly after COVID, they're exposed uh, to the world outside, right? In September 2022, my son uh, started falling sick, uh, but it was just a mild cold and fever, right? And a little bit of a cough. So when that all uh, went on for a while, but he recouped. Eventually, he, his gums started swelling and uh, he had swelling on his right side, uh, right next to his nose. So we kept going to the doctors and uh, I did see five, five different doctors and even the place where he was born. And all of them suggested the same thing that he has um, sinus infection, so it should subside. He started looking very different. From, he had lost a lot of weight. He had come down to 15, from 19 kgs to 15 kgs. Then we went saw ENT and uh, ENT suggested that we do a MRI scan. And that's where uh, they confirmed to us that he has tumor. Uh, before hopes, there was a lot of pain. We didn't know what to do. We didn't know because uh, when the ENT gave us this news, uh, in fact, we lost all our hopes. And uh, but there is nothing we could do. We really wanted to make sure we give, give the best and we make sure we save our child. So it was about what next. So while our ENT suggested that we go to a different hospital, uh, my cousin was working in Manipal. He recommended Dr. Nilesh Reddy and that's when we came here. When, the, when we saw the child for the first time, uh, the child was quite sick. Uh, he came a bit late. And when we evaluated, uh, the child was found to have an advanced uh, disease. It was a lymphoblastic lymphoma. They have been around for a few weeks and uh, then they reached us. When they came, the child was quite sick. Initially, we had to stabilize, establish the diagnosis. And over the next uh, two to three days, uh, we est uh, started the treatment for the child. We met Dr. Nilesh Reddy and uh, he said, let's first do a uh, biopsy. And that's when we will see where, uh, you know, what, what the MRI report has come out. Is that uh, the right thing or how we have to go out? He was very open with us and very honest. And uh, after biopsy on November 2nd is when we, real, uh, we got to know that uh, my, son was, uh, my son had lymphoma uh, in the fourth stage. Post starting of treatment, the child started to gradually improve for the next two to three weeks. There was a significant improvement, the food intake of the child, the infections all started to settle down, the tumor started to decrease in size and then we discharged the child and now the child is in the third phase of the treatment, comes on a OPD basis, gets the treatment and goes back home. The child is quite happy. Within two to three days, all the swelling on his right side of the face was already gone. It was definitely a miracle for us because, because we had seen him that way uh, with a swollen face for almost three weeks. That's when we started getting hopes. It's about the hope about how you can see your kid right in front of you improving. And uh, it was very difficult because he's three years. He's three years old child, right? So it was very difficult for us, for him, uh, for him to adjust to this environment and everything. But that's the best thing. The doctors here, uh, the nurses here gave him so much love and care. We were in the hospital for almost a month, more than a month in fact. So the take home message what we want to do is that this child has gone a lot in those initial days, about six weeks or so. This could have been significantly reduced. Uh, what we uh, hope is that uh, early referral to an oncology centre which has got a medical oncologist, a pediatric oncologist or a hematologist could have saved a lot of trouble for the parents. What I would request all parents is be very extremely careful with your kids. Do not ignore any symptoms and make sure you go to the right doctor. So it's always important you go to a hospital 
uh, than going to small clinics when you see uh, situations which is alarming right do remember that among all the cancers childhood cancers are the one which have got a very high potential of cure uh, when we use the word cure it means not just getting all right it's living a normal life what the child would have otherwise survived say 70 years or 80 years or maybe more than that that is what is meaning of cure in pediatric cancer so let us all together close the gaps between the care and see that every child who has got a cancer gets cured i am extremely thankful that my cousins recommended this hospital to me which is manipaleshwarpur i am extremely thankful to the staff i am extremely thankful where particularly to mr uh, dr nilesh reddy and dr rupa ma'am all of them in fact all of them treat my kids so well i am very thankful for uh, the hospital manipal eshwantpur Thank you.